Welcome back to Sunday Brunch Live. Now, if you were watching last Sunday, a statement was made by Simon Rimmer that caused quite a bit of upset in the houses up and down the country. In case you missed it, here's what Simon said. Crochet's a dying art, isn't it? No one crochets anymore. Crochets anymore. Crochets anymore. <laughs> what a terrible thing to say. People were asking for him to be sat, get rid of his job. There was outrage that you said that. And um, let me just give you some facts here. We had, uh, by the way, Shona Richardson, if you've just seen her here next to us here, she's going to be speaking just about crochet in a minute. She, she was not amused. Uh, <laughs> 75 Twitter complaints, 45 Facebook comments, and 11 emails received, Simon. Karen on Twitter said, no one crochets anymore. How very dare you. It's the fastest growing hobby in the UK. I thought that was fishing. Um, Katie, it's always fishing. Katie said, you're wrong about crochet. Sorry, it was Katie. You're wrong about crochet. <laughs> she we're, did have a cold. We're bringing it back. And Stuart said. But Stuart's voice, Tim. Stuart. My mum is outraged. <laughs> <laughs> she crochets and can crochet anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just hearing my ear, my, my accents are causing more offence than, <laughs> than the crochet. Northern accent great next week. We have a lot of northern people on. <laughs> uh, anyway, Jill from Skipton was outraged. She sent a picture of her granddaughter, Amelia, wearing a hood that she had crocheted. That is good. That is good. Yeah. Um, Gemma from Wigan crocheted... There are many more of these, too. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma from Wigan crocheted this Viking helmet. She's starting a rainbow-coloured mohawk hat this weekend. And Liz from York sent in a picture of her crochet creatures. Here we go. There they are. Look at those. They're good, aren't they? So yeah. what do you make of that, Simon? Do you feel suitably embarrassed? I, I feel suitably embarrassed. And to all of the crochet community, I'd like to offer up my sincere apologies for uh, any misplaced ideal. Embroiderers, meanwhile. Well, I'm not being funny, <laughs> but, you know, it's <laughs> No one embroiders anymore, do they? Uh, rubbish. Dying it's off. rubbish. Uh, um, so, uh, <laughs> Shane Richardson here. And, and you are a, a, an artist and a crochet master. And these are some of the things that you can create with incredible. <laughs> with, I mean, these are unbelievable, aren't they? Everybody who's walked in here today has gone, wow, look at those, they're incredible. Um, so, um, is crochet a dying art? I don't think I need to tell you that it's not, do I? No, I think the not public, really. no. I think the no, public, you no. Don't. But, you, you to be don't. fair on you, I have fallen into the same trap myself when I first started it, because the pieces look... I present them in kind of a museum, endangered species type way. Um, as taxidermy, so I used to say, you know, it was an endangered craft when I was interviewed, and I used to get a lot of stick as well, but generally from the States, it's only really, I think, become big in the past few years in this country, again. Of all the kind of handicrafts that started to become trendy again, haven't they? You I know, they I, have, I, I'm, yeah. You know, I'm deliberately kind of like, you know, highlighting knitting and embroidery, <laughs> all those kind of crafts, people are seem to be doing more. Yeah, people are working with their hands a lot more. Uh, lots of TV programmes about sewing and, you know, all the handicrafts are there. So the difference between um, crochet and knitting is? Knitting, you would do it with two uh, needles and you just pass, pass your wool from needle to needle. With crochet, it's just one hook. A lot more simple, I think. Crochet is more simple. I think so. But you could, so, you could, you could you knit this, I suppose, could you? Or? I couldn't. No. Because I use crochet. Crochet, yeah. Um, so how simple is it? How, how could we do it? I mean, is it simple enough for folks like us to do it? It is. I mean, it can be as complicated as you want. It can, you know, you can be really beautiful lace work with lots of flowers and all sorts of designs going on, but I actually just use one really basic, simple stitch and just use it in different directions to highlight the anatomy of the so, so when you've got something like this, for example, yeah. so are these, are you creating pieces that are then kind of stitched, stitched together? So you always have to do a, a, a pattern before you start? Sometimes I, it, it's more like that now. When I first started it, it used to be literally just in one piece, but then you'd have to a seam somewhere where you yeah. finish. Um, and that seam created quite a nice highlight, so I do use it in sections now more. How much time do you spend crocheting yourself on a...? Too much time, I think. Um, I try to limit myself to six hours at a time. Wow. Because of repetitive strain, but um, is it, I try to. Is it fun to do six hours it's, or uh, to become a job? It's, um, you sort of go into a quiet space when you're doing it. It's really repetitive. Meditation. Yeah, it is. It is a bit like that. Uh, we've got some stuff you did for the uh, uh, Olympics, which is, which is phenomenal. Um, let's have a look here. 
That is, uh, wow. wow. They are huge. How long do they yeah, take? Yeah, they took, well, the whole project, the project's still going on, actually. They're still on display, but the actual crochet part of it took two years. Did you have people in to help you? You must no, have. No, no. Well, you did all of your own. Yeah, well, I did. you crocheted those on your own? I did. I did. I think um, the way I felt about it at the time was it was such a huge mountain to climb. And I thought, you know, lots of people came into the studio. I run an open studio and workshops the whole time I was doing it. And everybody wanted to do one stitch. But I just thought, if you do one stitch, then, you know, it'd be like running the marathon and getting a lift for, you know, a foot of the way and you yeah. not completely. But also, yeah. does everyone crochet differently slightly? Like, you know, is it like a hand yeah. right? You know, if, if, if you knit, then, you know, you, the way that you hold the needles will be Absolutely, slightly yeah, different to somebody else, be. therefore. It will be, so, yeah. yeah. Stop trying to dig yourself out of a hole. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know the crochet community out there booing and hissing at the team. No, the done, can we have a go then? Can I yeah, I'll, of course I'm going to give yeah. you. Cliche will give you the red and I'll take the blue. What are we, we going to do whilst okay. we carry on talking? So you need to hold the crochet in your right hand. So you actually hold the bulk of the crochet. I've started it off for you so it should be nice and easy. Uh, okay, yeah. so you've got um, the biggest bit, bit on your right hand side. So. And there you go. You'll be holding yours that way. Right. So okay. you. Please See, miss. I told you it was easy. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You hook through there. All right. So hold that piece with your right hand. With my right hand. Yep. If you're are you right-handed? I am. Yeah. Hold on. You made a scarf for Sammy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> That's a football joke. Okay. So you need to be able to hold, get some tension on your wool. <laughs> so I told. I did tell you it was easy. Yeah. Now with your hook. If you sort of uh, stretch your wool a bit, you'll see there's a hole just there. So you need to put your hook through that hole. <laughs> I'll show you where it is. <laughs> it's there. There, all right, I've got it. Uh, you have that one. Okay. That no, one. not that right one. Right there. No. That one. No. no, from the front. Right. Right. Okay. Mm. It will be there. So it's about, ooh, three millimetres away from your hook. That. Go for it, that'll be fine. <laughs> Put it in. <laughs> Everybody's got their own style. So <laughs> OK, so you've got your hook break, through. Yeah. <laughs> you've got your hook through. Now you need to pick up that wall that's behind, so you need to put your, your hook underneath that I don't even understand what you're saying. Have, you have I done that right? I've picked up some wool. You have, yes. you have. Whoa, and, then, wool. And, then, <laughs> and then I'm going through the next hole. Pull it through, the and, first and stitch. I'm, and then I'm picking up that bit again. You know how to do this. Uh, am I doing it right? Oh, you secret crochet, you two. More or less. Yeah, I love like sitting in your busy. fancy <laughs> West London house crocheting with all your trendy friends. <laughs> so what do you pick up the wall? You just pull it through. Yes. The two loops that are on your hook. Talking about um, talking about cro being trendy, there's there's the uh, what do they call them? They call them um, bombing. Uh, what, uh, yarn, yarn bombing. Yarn yeah. bombing. Or gorilla crochet. Yeah. Or gorilla crochet, where people are actually making stuff yeah. and then going out um, onto the streets and uh, putting stuff out there. Let's have yeah. a, look. a bit kind of like Banksy, I suppose, in a way. They do it. So that's, it is. Uh, I've been sent photographs of grannies in balaclavas. It's all good fun. Really? Yeah, yeah. in the dead of so, night. Um, we've got some more pictures. Let's, let's move on. There you yeah. go. So, that's my car outside my house this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and we've got um, you two little rats, don't I you? I do. I, I, yeah, rats like these. Card, these are, so you make these and then you just pop and them out That's somewhere. just a really simple cover of a plastic rat. That's what I do. And I just leave them around and about. That's brilliant. How long would that take to make? Oh, that... Oh, a couple of hours, probably. An hour. An hour? Probably. That's cool. An hour? Is that all it takes you? Yeah. I've yeah. managed no stitches. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have no idea what I'm doing. I, 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 did, I didn't understand the words that Shona was saying. No, you're doing really well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know what I'm doing. So, um, so, uh... So, if we wanted to get involved in crochet, what, what do we do? Where do we go? You. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously me, of course. <laughs> In general, you know, are there, are there kind of are there crochet workshops? Because I'm thinking I need be. to improve my skills. <laughs> there will be. There'll be workshops all over the place. So just go online and, and Google it, and I'm sure that masses of workshops have come up. OK, I'm just going to point out for the, the, the stupid people out there like Simon <laughs> and myself, this has something underneath it you've covered. There's a, yeah, there's a solid yeah, structure under there and then I crochet the skin. Wall, yeah, yeah. yeah, And I freestyle it as I go along, so I, you know, obviously there's no pattern or anything, I just freestyle it. And, uh, Superb. So underneath that nice is some... A solid, solid form. It depends what I'm working on. It could be polystyrene, it could be polyurethane, but uh, 
something okay. you can carve. Well, they're brilliant. Thank you so oh, much for coming you. on. Oh, you're making, welcome. I'm you're making welcome. you look suitably stupid. <laughs> yes, indeed. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> In just a minute, we're chatting to actor Reece Thompson first. Let's take a look at what else is still to come on today's show.